and we're back everybody I was asked to do a vase or vase depending on how you want to say it for a friend he's going to give it to one of his family members so uh, I'm gonna make a vase or vase and you can see that's a humongous piece of wood it's probably about 12 to 13 inches when I first measured it I uh, really didn't do much on the tops and the bottom well, the top and the bottom uh, and it was about nine and a half inches, ten inches round, down to about nine and a half. So it's humongous right now for me, and we're definitely going to uh, take a bunch off. So we will start with the bottom. I've got it mounted up with a six inch plate on the drive center. And <clears throat> so far, one screw's already broke on it when I was trying to rough it out to get it semi-round so I can pick up some speed. So let's go ahead and just uh, get into it. I'm probably going to be working at between 600 and 750 RPM. So I still have some wobble. Not a lot, just enough, and that's too hot. This is that, uh, what I said before, I believe it's the locust wood. It's got the dark grains. So it's hard. That's some solid wood there. Okay. This has got some really good grain. This is going to turn out really good, I think, as long as I can keep it going.
hate to do it so early, but I think I'm going to have to flip this over. Give it more stable position. <clears throat> I need to get those bigger jaws, the 110 millimeters. Still kind of off. I'm gonna have to center for this one. shape it. Be a high tail. Make it happen. <clears throat> Bring you back when I get the faceplate off. Okay, I've got it flipped over now and uh, got it in the chuck. Live centers center the best it can be. Tip for next time for me is Ensure this is flat when I put that guy on because it gave me a bunch of wobble. So, yeah, pretty sure that's the reason why this happened. Plus, right there is where one of the screws broke off. So I'm going to have to worry about getting that off. But before I do that, I am going to work on rounding this back off a little bit more. So I won't touch that top part. Well, the face. Gotta sharpen this guy. I want to fix this edge on this side. Yeah, I still doing a lot of takeaway, and I'm moving faster and more aggressive because I know there's a lot of wood that's got to be going, and this part of this gouge did not sharpen properly. So next time, stop, reset everything, resharpen, <clears throat> and then go from there. Learning experience. But this, if I can keep it up, I'm kind of liking the size of the base. I want to bring the neck in a, a good amount, but we shall see. We'll be back. Okay, freshly sharpened gouge. I think I fixed it. Let's see how it works. We're still at only 600 RPM, but I think that's fine for this size. Definitely ain't pretty right now. Woo! All right, gotta go sharpen these things again. I'll be back. We got some freshly sharpened tools. <clears throat> and a little bit 
more of this taking the weight off of this. You know, this has way too much left to go to take off. See if I can go to 750. Oh, not bad. Still got a little bit of vibration. I think it's about time to scrape, get the tool marks out. But I shall return. We're back. I'm gonna do some scraping, get some of these tool marks out. I turned the dust collector on because uh, it's really powdering up. So I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, getting this tool marks out. Wait for the guy to call, the guy to text me back and let me know if this is too big or not. We may bring it down some more in size. I think I'm just going to have to start sanding it. <clears throat> Those fibers are really pushing up. I measured it out, it's 12 inches long, 6 inches in, you know, wide from the biggest point, which is here. So 12 by 6. Rather good size. Currently we have it sanded from 60 up to 600. So I'm going to go ahead and denature alcohol and seal it. And then we'll come back tomorrow, Saturday, and uh, do some more. Should I go ahead and run the, another 600 over it just for those fine hairs or seal it, let the sealer pull more up and sand it down. That's what we'll do. And we'll be back when we start the inside. Okay, everybody, we are back. It is now time to start hollowing out this large vase. We're boss. So, we've got it set up with the stabilizer. It works okay, I guess. Um, that will allow me to remove the tailstock and keep still keep it steady. Err than without it, so less of a chance of something that long coming off the chuck. <clears throat>
do a little bit of hollowing and then we can get more done in there. Okay, we ran into a snag. Um, always check your thickness while you're going. That last scrape that you're doing to try to even something out might be the last one. So we are going to recover this, not this piece, but we are going to recover the vase. Um, we'll do something with it. It'll still be a vase. Be different. It just won't have that crazy top on it unless I overlap <laughs> and connect this to this but I think we can make this work we shall uh, we, sh we shall see at least you'll be able to hold a bunch of stuff on it so I will bring you back a little bit later on and we'll go from there we have had to make that design change still keeping the larger portion because of that this part right here beautiful it's even got some coming through here it'll be a shorter neck and I'm still going to make it semi wide two inches on the inside but this is what we're going to work on now all right just double checked and he does like the new shape it's this is still the same it's got that beautiful little spot here this will when it's sanded out will have the same look so shorter neck we'll hollow this out this time I will be wary of my thickness and this is actually working the best besides ca carbide but we're uh, we're going to keep on pushing with this for now now watch, it ain't gonna work right. That's not bad. I'm just far enough in I can start hollowing it on the sides. Okay, we're back again. I'm five inches deep into it, and I don't want to go no further than seven. So, we've got two inches left. I 
got air in the compressor, turned it off so it doesn't trip any breakers, and I've got the dust collector on for when I blow it out. We're ready to move on. Still court recording here? Yes, we is. I'm gonna keep on doing this. <clears throat> Bring you back tomorrow when I start to, when I kick back off on the inside. <laughs> 